It's the Wickersham Leader Show with today's episode, Marching Towards Victory. Hello, everybody. Welcome back once again to another edition of Super Smash Fridays. I hope you've got your dukes up and your boxing gloves on because heaven help you, you're going to need it. <laughs> There's so, so much you got to pay attention to with Smash. I can't keep up anymore. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> mm. In any case, Welcome back, one, and welcome back, all. I'm happy to see you all here again on Fridays. It's nice to have you along for the ride. But before we get everything all ready for the arena, we're going to let everybody relax, get settled in, you know? Chill for a little bit. And I'll limber up my fingers with some DK practice, because... I'm not going to be doing the viewers pick for me thing again. That was kind of a disaster. Hello? Uh-oh, where is it? Oh! <laughs> I forgot to plug it in! I forgot to plug it into my capture card! You'll have to forgive me. There we go. Now it should- there we go. Oh, a system update. Hmm. Well, I do want to be able to... I do want to be able to... play the game, so... I'll update my system, but just for you. Hmm. That ain't a clunky way to begin. Hey, where's the audio? Aren't we supposed to be able to hear it? Hmm, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, there it is. There it is. Don't know why it gave me some trouble, but glad we figured that out. Let's see, what are my goals for today? Uh, today, I'm gonna win once. If, we can, if I win once, then I consider it a victory. And if I win once, then I guess we'll change it to another objective, which is to win a second time. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh yeah, the melee event again. Whoop, not that. Training. <sighs> you know, I still haven't gotten around to recording my my gameplay for those dudes over at the DK DK Discord. I'm probably never going to do it. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. First things first, let's look up a... Let's see. DK Training Smash Ultimate, right? Let's see if we can find something to train for. Hmm. Eh, guess we'll just try some stuff that I normally do. This one 
thing that I clearly can perform. Kidding me? He can survive from that? Oh gosh, really? I still can't perform slingshots optimally. That's what I should be practicing. Slingshot smash. Start a dash, quickly pull the control stick in the opposite direction and hold diagonally up or down. Oh. You know, I didn't even consider about doing that when... Oh, is this your first time playing Smash? No. I've played, I've been playing Smash on stream for, gosh, how long now? Since the game came out, and I think since 2019, I've been playing it every Friday. old yeah well I think I gotta ask some questions about your username there oh I didn't even you know I all every single time I try to do this it's always to go for a maneuver but I never consider just just doing it Ask away. Do your parents know? <laughs> okay, so the hold shot. Hmm. Hold shot, instead of the flick shot, instead of flicking up, back, or down, back, the input is held. Oh, I see. Okay. Wonder why they Okay, um, I need to practice so things I need to practice are things like micro spacing Then just generally playing around my opponent better. I also need to stop using spinning Kong and the headbutt because I keep falling back on them whenever I'm in danger. Because I can practice combos. I can practice combos all day long, but it doesn't matter if I'm never going to be able to get the chance to use them. Neutral is always going to be is always going to be the issue. The full shot is the same as the hold shot. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, I 
my stats the full shot? Oh. Okay. Now I just gotta remember to keep that in mind. Being able to move DK better and being able to bait, being able to bait is nice. Mm -hmm. The problem is I'm still DK, right? So there's only so much I can do. Hmm. But getting used to the to getting used to how the slingshot works is very important cuz I need to use it all the time to do like this. It's, it, honestly, it's a never-ending, um, it's a never-ending battle. I mean, look, I've said this before that I'm not a good player. But I think I, I need to practice more. That's always been the case. I definitely need to I definitely need to learn how to time my my bears well I mean if somebody automatically jumps I can jump check that of course but the, the training mode in this game is kind of annoying cuz what I would love to have is an option where when you tell it to jump, right? It will jump in place, sure. But what it won't do is then, um, what it won't do is then, um, what's the word? Oh, there it is. Aha. Uh -huh. What it won't do is try to jump as soon as it can. It will jump when it when it hits the floor again. Which is a uh, a bit of an issue. So I can't have it do something where it immediately tries to jump out of any combo in case I get it wrong, which results in things like this where I'm trying to practice this combo, and I know they can escape it, but because I, I, against real players, they escape it all the time, even though it's supposed to be true. But I can't tell when I'm doing it here. D 
DK is all about getting into the advantage state and, and like pushing it forward. Not everything's going to be able to be followed up on. But there's lots of little things about that game plan that I need to pay attention to. Because there are some things I can try to get, but it's not easy. Oh well. Let's open up the arena then, shall we? Should be all good from last time. Let me just put in the code so that you guys can get it on YouTube and Twitch. 71NS3. Seven, 71NS3. Seven, Great. And I was playing Luigi last time. I don't want to play Luigi anymore. I can't play Luigi. Hello, Dark Mario Bros. Ah. Dragonite. Oh, boy. Ah, all right, let's see. I shielded. Come on, I totally could have hit him. Well, whatever. Hey, how do I get out of those Squirtle combos? Dragonite. How do I escape those? How do I escape them in a way where you can't just get me for free?
kind of hard, unlike Mario. Mario's hard too, so... I can't get out of Mario combos. Best to DI. Well, I'm trying. And trust me, if it was easy to get out of those Mario combos, you'd never get me in them, but it's not easy. Ooh, nice hit. And it even took zero damage for it. Ooh, very good. Oh, you got this, Falco. You can break in. I think Falco's kind of panic pressing buttons right now. Doesn't doesn't really know how to get in on this. Man, if only Ivysaur didn't have such a safe counter. Yourself a mechanic controller. What does that mean? Like a hitbox? Man, could you imagine if Ivysaur had to actually try? To, could you imagine if Ivysaur actually had to try to, uh, to ledge guard? That would be crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> the buttons click. Oh, okay, so you got a very clicky controller for that satisfying feeling. I get it. Anti-drift analog sticks. Anti-drift? How does anti-drift work? Well, that's it then, isn't it? Yeah. See, everyone can everyone can ledge guard but me. Or ledge trap, rather. Uses some kind of magnetic system. Oh, that sounds fancy and expensive. <laughs> All right, I need to prevent Squirtle from being able to just do whatever he wants to me. But I'm not sure how. 
Like, I need a way to punish Squirtle for trying. Even when I got the first hit, I still suffer. I swear, imagine if, imagine if Ivysaur actually had to try to ledge guard. Wouldn't that be something? Dang it. I just had to make sure I played safe against Squirtle. And then you get Ivysaur off stage, and he can't do much if he's too far out. <sighs> Thank goodness. Well, that's one victory, guys, and it's against somebody I normally have a very hard time with. So I'll, I'll accept it. Gotta play differently against different people. That sounds obvious, but it's it's very easy to forget. was DIing the wrong direction.
Okay, got him. That was a little dumb, but all right. If I had waited half a second longer, I would have gotten him, too. Man, that was rough. <laughs> I was trying to position myself, but every time I got caught out in a bad spot, especially during that first stock. All right, we got two victories. Hello, Drazox. Drazox MK. You play Mortal Kombat? Or does MK mean Meta Knight? Okay, he didn't smash attack me. No! Oh my gosh, that should have counted. I was expecting mutually assured destruction, not just Ivysaur getting the benefit for no reason. Didn't want to do that, but all right. Gosh. There we go. Oh, man.
You know, the worst part is I was I should have had super armor there. You saw me do you saw me do spinning Kong. I knew he was going to land on me, so I did spinning Kong, but he interrupted me somehow anyways, which is great. Love that. Even though I totally read what he was going to do. I DI'd badly, I guess. But he got me on the little bit of spinning Kong that didn't have super armor before it kicks in. Like, how am I supposed to go for grab combos when they won't let me grab them? And I can't position myself well when Squirtle can just do whatever he wants. I'd love to be able to stop Squirtle from doing whatever he wants, but the second he hits me once, that's basically it. How do I make... Hmm. How do I counter Ivysaur? Now the question is, what do I, how do I prevent them from being able to just run rampant on DK? With Ivysaur, I can't avoid going in like the other two. I can, I can keep my distance from Squirtle and Charizard and play off of a whiff punish. With Ivysaur, I'm forced to play because I can't shield forever. Hmm. 
I'm looking up ways to counter Ivysaur specifically. Although maybe I should focus on countering Squirtle. Since I can deal with, somewhat deal with Ivysaur. Oh, this, hold on though, this. This Simon's gonna be nasty business. You gotta, I gotta really pressure him. Otherwise he's gonna be able to just do free reign on me. Because once, once you get Simon or Richter off stage far enough, they can't do anything. You can block them from being able to tether recovery. If they get hit at all trying to recover, they, they aren't coming back. Oh man, <gasps> you actually survived that? Oh, but never mind. Is he showing off? Oh, maybe he doesn't want to be caught out by the... I think he's just trying to not be caught out by the invincibility because Simon at high health in that position. Well, there you go. We got the one. Now we just got to do that again. Oof. That'll do it. Oh man, that's rough. So earlier today on Twitter, I caught a little bit of footage of the sequel to the Woody Woodpecker movie they made. And uh, looks like it's... Uh, that it honestly, it just looks like it'll be just as bad as the first one. Yikes. I mean, I like the first one, but Woody was kind of funny. It doesn't mix well with live action, though. I don't know. The, 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 he just... Woody hasn't been funny in a very long time. Like, even the 90s show struggled to really make it work. It was like a mite, it was a mite sort better than the Woody in the 60s and 70s, but by golly, Woody just, for the longest time, he's just been struggling to be funny. Because they don't let him be crazy. Oof. Ooh, he rolled right into that. Good read. It's just when, when, uh, you know, when I look at this stuff in the 40s, he was really, really funny, but then... I don't know, in the 60s, Walter Lance was way more interested in cutifying Woody and making him more of a mascot and less of a character, and 
Uh, he suffered. Anytime Woody has his hair up pointing forward, you know it's not going to be funny. Granted, I, I mean, the movie was apparent. The first movie was apparently made for Brazil, you know, because it actually got a theatrical release there. I'd curved the wrong way. <laughs> That's what you get. take it i'll take him i'll take him messing up after going for something super flashy and failing to just recover after a back throw onto stage at zero i'll take it i consider that a win i may have lost but i was already gonna lose so i didn't i didn't lose anything in that fight he got embarrassed twice i'll take that Anyway, he started with Dragonite, so that's when he goes to the back of the line. The movie was not too good, TBH. No, the Woody movie was not very good, and they didn't let him... It, it, it's... It's just another... It's like the Yogi Bear movie, right? Where things just kind of happen, and it's like, oh, but we have this really ugly Yogi Bear in there. And he makes some references to, like... He makes some references to his cartoons, but is overall very plain. And it's like, why did we, you know, this could have been any, any animated character. Didn't need to be Yogi. And of course these movies can't help themselves with the stupid toilet humor. I hate that they can't help themselves. It's in all of them. The only one that avoided it was like Rocky and Bullwinkle, but Rocky and Bullwinkle was legitimately written exactly like the original show. Him playing Forest Defender, like, overall doesn't work, but if somebody was specifically just going after his house, that would work, right? Like, there are tons of shorts where somebody just messes with him so he makes their day hell. However, there are also just as many shorts where Woody is just being a horrible jerk for no reason. Like, he just decided to mess with this guy, and that's funny! Good job, Alizonia. You have to go to the back of the... You have to go to the back of the line now. Yeah, he does.
It's just, uh, it's just, like, I could think of these movies like that. They, they all have, ugh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate how formulaic these things are. They're all extremely juvenile. They, they rarely feel like they play to the character's strengths. What other movies can I think of where they did this? Uh... You know, I'm trying to think of some and I can't really think of much. The closest I could probably compare this to is Detective Pikachu, but Detective Pikachu was good, so I don't... I don't... You know, that's not really the same caliber here. Plus, it's... It's not... It's like the whole world is in, is filled with the Pokemon and it's not like they just got one character as a vehicle for this movie, so it's a little different, you know? At least he got to sing his- at least Woody got to sing his theme song, I guess. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Yes, sir. -y. That's me. That's me. That's what I'm supposed to be. I poke holes in every tree. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Oody do. What, what, what can I do? So are you. I don't know why I sang all of that. <laughs> I just like it. It's a good song. But the funny thing is that, like, Woody has been consistently way less crazy in every iteration after the original shorts from 1940 to 1947. So him still singing that song just feels extremely out of place. You know, this is a Woody who plans. He has a moral center, right? That's not, that's not the crazy screwball. Would Detective Pikachu the game actually had human characters? Well, Detective Pikachu basically has nothing to do with the game, except that there's a detective and he's a Pikachu. Oh my gosh, really?
Dang it. Oh, it shot me straight up. Thought it was going to shoot me to the right. Good. Finally. Jeez. You're kidding! You're kidding! There was no way! There was no way! Come on, you're kidding! There was no way that you had- There was no way that you- Oh my gosh! I totally called you out, and you- uh, I totally called you out, and you still somehow managed to shield in time. That's ridiculous. I called you out. Hello, Celeste. Well, nothing like he could have done a smash attack, but it would have I was too high up. I was too low, excuse me. And he could have done like any there was nothing else he really could have done that would have allowed me to. Uh, he could have like there's nothing he really could have done that would have killed there. Unless he did a down smash, maybe, but like the dunk is probably the easiest way for him to get me because nothing else would have really worked. Here's me thinking, oh, great. The guy switched off of Simon. Hope we're going to be able to fight something that doesn't zone me out for a million years. Just kidding. It's Richter, basically the same character, except Red Pikmin could survive the blue fire. In other words, Discord has released tomb themed avatar profile decorations. What? Where? On the shop. Ah, oh, shoot. Now I gotta look at that. Uh, where is the shop? Merch? No. Oh, let me update Discord. Maybe it'll show up then. PC, it's in your DM. Oh, there it is. Shop. Valorant, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Eh. Eh, these are lame. No. These are lame. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying these. <laughs> These are really lame, and the anime ones are worse. <laughs> nah, these suck, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're like the most generic idea of a 1930s cartoon that you could think of.
Let me see. Let me look at them. Which of these would be good if I were to get them? Uh... The one with the flowers seems the best one where the petals... That's like the most closest, but they don't look right. They look off. They look so off. They <laughs> No, I'm not buying these. <clears throat> nope. If they make another one where there's like hammers or anvils or something, let me know. Discord tune. Uh, icons. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. Eh. I doubt. Well, I mean, I guess I can dream or something because I am not impressed, Discord. You disappoint me. Hire some hire some people who know what tunes look like. Like they just took a generic flower design and and, and took the eyes and made them and put a pie slice through the eyes. That's what they did. Man, Kazuya cannot get in, huh? There it is. Never mind, he got in. There's that auto turnaround, preventing us from being able to cross up any of them. He has a garbage neutral. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, like, look, the, the problem with Kazuya is that when he gets in, he's very dangerous and can do touch of death combos. His weakness then is that if somebody is, say, a zoner, he can't get in. He's only got one projectile, and the he moves very slowly, so he's got to play real smart to get in on them. But if you're not playing a zoner, he can get in quite handily. Especially someone like me, who has to get in. Have they done tune icons before? Even so, his projectile's laser is really slow. Yeah, it's super easy to block. The nightmare thing for Kazuya is that characters like me literally can't do anything to stop him from doing whatever he wants. However, Richter and Simon? That's a different story.
Cloud and Sephiroth, but that's a whole different story. I don't know what the deal is with Cloud and Sephiroth. Could you explain that to me? Cloud has range on his sword, but not enough. Sephiroth has too much range, leaving him open to hit if you miss. Uh-huh. But I thought Cloud was really good. Like, Cloud is still sitting around doing whatever, isn't he? Oh, what? How did he do that backwards? And there's that again. Wait, who left? Oh, the Kazuya. Just have trouble against Kazuya. Yeah, well, I have trouble against Kazuya too because I'm Donkey Kong, but because I'm Donkey Kong and because I suck, I basically have trouble against most characters. <laughs> like even characters lower on the tier lists than DK I have trouble with. Like I have trouble with K rule a lot. I wish I was good. I really do. I could have more fun in this game if I was good. Oh, oh. Oh, man. This is gonna go terribly. Let's see if I can do anything here. Everybody's fingers crossed. Give me your energy. We're gonna we're gonna charge up a spirit bomb here. And if I die, well then we'll just say it's the Saiyan arc. You 
You know, come to think of it, isn't it pretty funky that if you just start watching Dragon Ball Z, Goku dies really early on? Like, the main character just dies. platforms keep giving him exactly what he needs like it's crazy that the plot you saw how those platforms moved him into the perfect position Zonia, I need you to tell me how to beat you. If you're gonna be here, I need to know how to actually fight you so I can beat you. Tell me what to do to beat you. <laughs> Alright, Alazonia, you gotta tell me how to beat you. Cause I, I'm not, I'm not gonna take this sitting down. Well played. You know that's not true. Anyway, you did another rotation, so that's back to the back. Oh, they left. Why? You don't want to give me your secrets? You want me to you want me to forever be in the dark about how to defeat you? Is that what you want? Ready? Scared I might win? <laughs> <laughs> They don't want to give us away their secrets because if people actually figured out how to beat them, then they would never win again. Because that's just how I, I guess that's I mean, that's if you can get them to knock off their zoning and actually punish them, they're dead. They can't really do much. Terry's game plan differ from Ryu and Ken. What is he trying to do that's so different? Because Terry can't really zone like Ryu and Ken can. And not to say that they're zoners, it's just that Ryu and Ken's fireballs are bigger. Gosh. 
I need to be able to fig I need to be able to watch my opponent and figure out what their plan is while I'm playing. Terry can't use projectiles midair. That's true. How is Terry um How is Terry's recovery overall? I find him to be somewhat tricky sometimes, but a lot of the times it feels like Terry has difficulty coming back to stage if you if you protect it correctly. Now that sounds obvious, but I mean like He's got one maneuver that lets him come back, and that's his back special, assuming he's facing the right way. Doesn't have a jump, he's kind of dead. Yeah, that's what I figured. Bowser. Hmm. Well, glad to see that you're joining us, Hala K. Here's up specials very vertical. Ryu and Ken are a bit more horizontal. Yeah, well, Ryu and Ken also have the ability to you and you know, uh, the the thing about um, Tatsumaki Senpukyaku is that. It goes up a little. So, you know, even then it's a little bit nicer. I thought that was, I thought at like 150, a charged up smash like that would end it, but never mind. So as we are closing out March, how are you guys doing? I, I'm loving that it's finally getting a little warmer out. And that days are getting longer. I'm sick of it getting nighttime at four in the afternoon. The worst part is that the sun and the moon in Toontown are like actively doing that. They're doing it on purpose. They could make it so that days and nights are, are 12 hours each, but no. Well, they're both down to their last stock now. What if it was like just a Mario game and a real Mario game and <laughs> the second Mario touches Bowser, he just dies <laughs> in any capacity. Can you guys believe that Bowser turned himself into a castle? He became Castle Bowser. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen.
Ah, there's Holake. Oh, and Whipper. Hello, Whipper. Nope. Dragonite, do you do this on purpose? Do you try to make it the most aggravating and unfun gameplay experience intentionally, or is that a side effect of playing Mario? Like, is there a way to play Mario without doing this? Or is this the optimal way to play, is to just prevent the other person from having fun? No dunk. I'll accept that I at least avoided dying to the dunk. Kind of both when playing Mario. Yeah, that's what I figured it was. That's true, nobody ever really plays Corrin. You know what? Tonight's the night. Tonight's the day I finally decide to submit my videos to the DK Discord to actually try to win for once, because I am I am legitimately sick of all this losing. It's not fun anymore. I need to win. I've won twice today, and that's it. I'm not out here to hurt somebody's ego. My ego's hurt enough. I don't want somebody else to go through what I'm going through. It sucks being where I am. But I wouldn't necessarily be against humbling somebody. 
I just want to have fun with this game again. I had so much fun in the early days when nobody knew anything. We were all learning together. Now that everybody knows, it sucks. It's so annoying to play the game now because you got to be perfect now. And I got to practice. The characters will always suffer to combo based characters. Yes, but I am trying to prevent him from getting the combo in the first place. stomach oh well maybe I'll submit those videos after I uh, I'll submit those videos after I make dinner tonight I'm making a cream of turkey soup good luck Hala K it's uh you're gonna have a rough time out there You believe? You know what? I believe in you too, Hala. I believe you can do better than me. Eat some chocolate early on. What kind of chocolate? Good luck, Hala. Who do you play? I hope it's Kirby. That would be really funny. A Nestle chocolate bar. Just a regular chocolate bar, not like a crackle? Just a regular one. Mm-hmm. I didn't know Nestle made regular chocolate. Around here, the only chocolate bars you get are like Hershey. Although you used to be able to buy Wonka bars. Although th that's Nestle anyway. Well, it was Nestle anyway. They sold the Wonka name to someone else. Ooh. Oh. 
wanted to just play Smash for fun and now I can't. Ooh, we've all been there. The problem is we all got to learn. We all got to learn how to. We all got to learn how to separate our wins from having fun. I can't have fun when I lose. A milk chocolate bar. Oh, all right. Yeah. I mean, that's just regular chocolate. When you're when you're playing a match and it feels like you can't do anything, it's very uninteractive and it just feels like you're just getting you're just jumping in and getting destroyed because you can't get out. My only real option is to hope that Mario misses the combo. You can DI all day, but they can account for that. Ha! Good job, Hala. Can you wrap this up? Can you can you claim victory today? Quite a bit louder than the game and the music. I hope so. I want you guys to hear me. Eh, I lowered it a little. See if that's any better. job, Hala. Watch out for Whipper. He's he's tough. He knows what he's doing. Oh man. Hey, it's uh we're now one whole month closer to multiverses, aren't we? That comes out in May. Quite a few things coming out in May. The next episode of Digital Circus is coming out in May. Uh Multiverses is coming out in May. Um my birthday's in May. I hope you guys are getting me a present this year. A Felix remake was announced? Oh, uh, gosh, that was a while ago. Yes, hold on. Oh, yeah, like a month ago. Oh, wait, no. Oh! Hold on, let me check this out. Yeah, no, it's a, uh... It's a re-release from the looks of it. Yeah, it's just a re-release with, like, save functions. Felix the Cat on NES is a really good game, by the way. You should... I recommend it.
The NES one? It's a good platformer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's that. It's a re-release of that one. It's not a remake. It's just they're, they're re-releasing it with some stuff. I was going to pick Cloud 2, but it's not worth the joke in a seven-man room. Yeah, all right. So who are you playing today, Zelrog? Ganon or Bowser? We'll remake the room in 20 years. <laughs> Soon as a new K. Rule already into the function, Cannonball. Well, I mean, that's just kind of what K. Rule has to do. K. Rule is not exactly awash with options. few ways to play and he struggles against a lot of he struggles against a lot of characters but whipper is just so good that a lot of the time it doesn't really matter he just knows what's up back in the earlier days of ultimate i was able to beat him but not anymore actually that's that's the story of most of me versus my friends and regulars on these streams i used to be able to beat him then they got too good. I was giving an article titled the 18 best smash ultimate characters ranked and I don't understand the author's logic at all Donkey Kong is 18 so I guess it's just their favorites maybe it is just their favorites but that doesn't make any sense that's not consistent like anywhere I'm not getting much better than that. You're kidding me. Let me take a look at this list.
When was this list made? First off, 2024, it was today? Huh? Donkey Kong, Toon Link, Samus, Ganondorf, Snake, Meta Knight, Kirby, Sonic, okay. Game and Watch, all right. Pokemon Trainer, Peach, Ness, Rob, Fox, Joker, Pikachu, Aegis, and Steve. Well, near the, it looks like they just looked at the top of this list. I, I'm like, yeah, I just, what? Uh, Ganondorf is the perfect character to introduce somebody who doesn't play heavies? No, no, he is like one of the worst characters to give somebody if they don't play heavies. If someone never plays heavies before, you're, they're best off playing Bowser. Not only is he the best heavy in the game, he also is pretty fast, has good like movement options. I don't know how Ganondorf is the best option there. Like, Bowser can recover. That's more than Ganondorf can say. Steve has a problem. He's close to Brawl Meta Knight's level of broken. No elaboration on what that means, by the way. Hold on, do they explain why Meta Knight is so high? No, it's just that he used to be good. K. Rool would like to disagree on best heavy in the game. Did it call K. Rool the best heavy? No, it said Ganon was the best heavy to play if you're new to learning about heavies. Which I, you know, I say Bowser is the best heavy to learn if you're new to heavies. Guess Ganon illustrates the idea the best? Maybe? If you play heavy, you will get comboed, gimped, and loose. Unless you're Bowser. Ganondorf is the best character to introduce to someone who doesn't play heavies, especially in Ultimate. Never has this Captain Falcon clone felt so fun to play. You can easily kill your opponents in less than five hits. Bonus points of yell Doria every time you perform his forward smash. I mean, this article is just fluff. There's nothing of substance here. This is just a fluff piece. It's strange that um, Cape doesn't reverse the direction of Crown, it only changed the ownership.
sure playing Ganon is fun. Who says that nowadays? Like, who's the worst in the game? He's not the worst character in the game. But then again, even the worst character in Ultimate is still way better than the than some of the better characters in other games. Cross also does that when it's returning. Yeah, but I wonder why. Why it doesn't change the direction on the ownership. I wish I could go as deep as K rule is on DK. DK Spinning Kong had a vertical rise mashing B. That would be interesting. Like maybe it's weaker when it does that, but it goes higher. I mean, but DK's ver DK's horizontal recovery is pretty good. Being able to mix up the movement is huge for Bowser. DK would benefit a lot from that. That's true. The article is basically just the person's like favorite characters because then they because like the top tiers are like characters who we expect to be up there Peach, Pikachu, Joker, Steve, uh, Sonic, but like they're all in a very awkward order and they're not really ranked in any conceivable way. It's like somebody look, took two looks at a tier list, but then kind of guessed with the rest of them. Oof. Uh, 
Okay. Dragonite trying to overkill. Dragonite does like to go for those flashy finishes. Nope, there it is. Congus. Hello, Congus. Let's see now. Woke up kind of late, but now we're here. Ah, oh, that's okay. It's not a race. It's not like we're gonna not let you in because of how late it is. Surprised Mario wasn't in that list? Uh, I don't know why Mario would be in that list. But then again, Donkey Kong and Ganondorf were in that list, so I don't know what the point of that list was. his favorites and top tiers and called it a day. That's what it sounded like, but I'm not really, I mean, look, it's just a fluff piece. It doesn't mean anything. It's just one of those articles that's just there to like generate clicks and that's all. I mean, the, the state of online journalism, especially in places like gaming spaces is horrendous. Cause they'll just, they'll just say things. They'll report on every single rumor that goes around. They'll report on every single like thing that anyone said. It's unusually bad even for a fluff piece. True.
Man, we haven't had... I'm think I'm realizing that the DDD is making me realize we haven't had, uh... What's his name? Wow, I forgot his name. Wow, how did I forget his name? Hold on, let me go get him. He's still in there. Martian, that's it. We haven't had Martian in a while. Probably in school. college and whatnot. Martian was this DDD main who was in here. He was cracked. What is this song? Oh. Ruby Sapphire. I mean, I guess I could tell. Alright, let me try fighting Bowser. I was trying to do it the other way, but all right, I didn't be reversed at all. shielded, but all right. Hold on, I gotta stop Bowser from mashing buttons. didn't kill? Of course. Flippin' ready for him exactly. I rolled. What the heck? I rolled.
I don't know how I was so bad there. <sighs> how do you make Bowser stop pressing buttons? Throw him around. I can't grab him because you no, know, the mashing. It's an unrelenting offense. You don't mean throws with grabs. What do you mean then? Just hit him. As long as Bowser has no ground, he's a combo bag. Well, I'm DK. I don't know if I can even combo him. That works if you're playing Mario, maybe, but it's not like I have a lot of free-flow combos I can build into. Almost all of DK's combos require him to get a grab, anyway. Ooh. Good roll, Reed. Bowser is definitely combo food just like the rest of them. He can just get out a lot. As long as you're not landing flurry attacks, a special ability won't save him. That's not even what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about how Bowser has pretty decent air control, and he can, and if he gets a, the if he gets the moment to do his uh, up special, you know, whirling fortress can get him out of a lot of situations. It's a character who gets hit by most of Ganon's options out of flame choke, his slowest tech rolls. 
Oh, that's right. The rolls still have different speeds, don't they? Rolling Force is only fast out of shield. It's committal. Yeah, I know, but it's something you got to keep uh, keep in mind. See you later, Hala. Hope you had fun. Just going for it, huh? Gary, I've been talking about that new Tenkaichi game. Oh, is it out? You ever played a Dragon Ball game? I own DBZ Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, excuse me. I own, I also own Dragon Ball Origins. When I did, I tried out a little bit of Dragon Ball Fighter Z and played the tutorial. Uh, I like Kid Goku. I like playing as him. But I don't know how to play fighting games like that. I'm just not good at most fighting games. Oh, well, any, actually. Skull Girls, Street Fighter, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Mortal Kombat, Tekken. I've tried them all. Not good at any of them. I'm not good at Smash, but this one has Donkey Kong in it, so I'm sticking to it. The worst part is that I can go on the quick play and win, but it doesn't feel like I earned it, right? Like I can go into quick play and I can win on quick play, but that doesn't feel like anything matters. When I go into a battle arena here, I almost never win, but that makes the wins I do get all the more satisfying and worthy of a pop off. Who would you main in a big crossover tune fighter? You can only pick one tune. Hmm, one. Daffy. I'd main Daffy. Heck, if Daffy comes to multiverses, I will switch off of bugs. Although I will probably still be playing bugs. I also need to learn Marvin. Tom and Jerry and bugs, Taz and Marvin are the ones I play now. I mean, I'm just gonna play all the Looney Tunes characters, honestly. I don't know if they're even gonna, uh, there's probably no more Tom and Jerry characters. It's, it's, there's probably no more Tom and Jerry characters that they're even gonna add. I mean, maybe there's, maybe there's Butch, the black cat that's Tom's friends, or Kitty Galore, maybe, but not much else. Or Toots Galore. What is her name? Is it Kitty Galore or Toots Galore? I can't remember. Toots Galore. Toodles Galore, that's her name. Well, we know Daffy's coming to multiverses at some point. The wizard? What wizard? Do you mean like the wizard from that one Merry Melody short of the Looney Tunes show?
the animatics were supposedly planned, right? There's a, in the, in the, one of the pictures they showed off recently, that's like promotional art for the game, there's a balloon of Yakko and the brain. So, Animaniacs are coming somehow. Uh, we also found music for an unused Warner Brothers studio stage. So, it's probably gonna be Animaniacs themed. You don't know the wizard Daffy Duck? Well, I don't, which wizard? What, what are you talking about, wizard Daffy? Well, I, I know the song from the Looney Tunes show, which is the only thing that comes up when I search wizard Daffy Duck. Would you pick Daffy over Roger? Oh, yes, yes I would. I love Roger Rabbit, it's my favorite movie. But I like Daffy as a character more than Roger. And also, Roger's not getting in this game. <laughs> there is no way. <laughs> now, I would like to see Popeye. See you later, Dragon Knight. I mean, you know, people have thrown around all sorts of ideas for characters. Samurai Jack is a very common one I've seen. It's from the short of the Looney Tunes show. Yeah, I know, that's the one I'm talking about. If that's the one they're talking about, then yes, I know that one. Otherwise, then no, otherwise, no. And the hypothetical Toon Fighter. Oh, that's true, yeah. But yes, I would probably still choose Daffy over Roger. I just love Daffy Duck. All of his shorts are like some of my favorites. Like the Great Piggy Bank Robbery, um, Duck Dodgers. Uh, I can't remember the name of the short, but the one, the the Sherlock Holmes one, where he's called Dorlock Holmes. Um, Uh, Rocket Squad. What other good one? Duck Amuck. Boobs in the Woods. Love that one. That one's pretty funny. If Samurai Jack's on the multiverse, I would download this game again. Well, I'd be surprised if he wasn't coming. I hope that they don't do any more uh, original characters. I don't want to see more characters like Rain Dog. Oh, and LeBron. I. I'm sorry, but I don't care about LeBron James. But it's been three weeks since they said that they were gonna tell us more about the game before its release and we don't have any information. So I don't know. Hold on. I will continue this in a minute. I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Never mind. I'll play this match. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna have to hold it in. I don't get to pee until I win. Stop him from edge guarding me. You know what? I am sticking to that. I don't get to pee until I win. So if I lose this match, I have to wait until it's my turn again for another shot at being able to go pee. If you make me lose, you're preventing me from going to the bathroom. All right, now I got to wait. Daddy enter okay, I don't know who that was, but they left immediately after. Do you think it was actually Big Daddy from Bioshock? Oh, I never saw that movie. he hit did he hit like the did he hit like the keyblade which had no hurt box on it Zalrog can pull through here. Oh. Okay, now we just got to get this last one.
wouldn't have would have won if you hadn't lost. True. Well, we know Multiverses is getting classic Cartoon Network characters. The The last trailer they revealed had footage of a Dexter's Lab stage and uh, a Powerpuff Girls stage. And the new teaser has Townsville Hall on the right side of it. We're literally getting Dexter and, and the Powerpuff Girls. They, I, think they, I think most people know that that's where the strength of the characters lies, in the cartoons. Honestly, it's mostly, honestly, that's what I'm expecting. Most of this is probably just going to be DC movie, DC characters, Looney Tunes, and Cartoon Network. Oh, and Hanna-Barbera. Like, it's, it's going to be the cartoons. They're not going to have too many live-action characters, I think. Uh, although, a lot of people do ask for the Wicked Witch of the West. Hope they're done with superheroes. Oh, come on. We don't have, like, Green Lantern, we don't have Robin, we don't have the Joker, uh... Oh, wow, okay. Robin and Joker are in Smash Bros. Ah, you're right, how could I forget? What if they added Space Ghost? And Harvey Birdman. Actually, I think it's more likely they'll have a Birdman skin. Uh, what are his moves? Kneeling interview questions? No, no, his arm bracers, where all of his power comes from. Um... And then they, it's most likely they'll have a, a Birdman skin and then Harvey will be like an alt. Excuse me, Birdman as a character and then Harvey will be an alt for it. Hello, Thymon Him. Thymon Him, interesting name. Whipper, are you having drifting problems again? I don't think anyone remembers or cares about either character as superheroes. Well, the newest season of, uh, the newest season of, um, Jellystone has, uh, uh, the newest season of Jellystone has Space Ghost in it, and he's a superhero in that. He was also in Batman the Brave and the Bold. How do you join? There's a code command. Exclamation point ID or exclamation point arena both work. This is terrible. This is this is one of the worst I've seen.
When over here breaks the spaghetti, I will find you. Breaks it, what? Like when you cook, you break your spaghetti so that it fits in the pot? So after the stream today, uh, I I am going to be cooking a delicious cream of turkey soup. It should be real tasty. Little, little harsh for people that you literally have no idea what their stance on if they even eat pasta is, wouldn't you say? I like my spaghetti like I like my smash without any sauce. Zelrog, that's horrendous. Don't... I'm trying to imagine eating an entire bowl of pasta without any sauce, and it sounds like the most soul-crushing thing. Hello, Omni. Oh, you, you enjoying this? Yeah, this is great. <laughs> this. Why are they still playing? I don't know, because Dark Mario can't do anything else. Like, he either gets to play this way or he doesn't get to play. For the ideal viewing speed, you set the playback speed on the YouTube stream to 0.25x. Set it to 1.25 so we can get it back to normal. Alright, now, remember, if I get to win, if I win, I get to go to the bathroom. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, that, I guess it was the rotation, wasn't it? All right, this doesn't count.
If you don't go to the bathroom anyway. No, I have to I have to hold it. I have to hold it. It's my reward. All right, cool. This may happen, folks. part is I was gonna win
gosh, the, the, them shuffling, all that shuffling around. They're going back and forth and in front and behind. What does SR do? Song request. We have uh, very few rules about song requests. Uh, no, like, popular music, no copyrighted songs like that. Music from video games is generally okay, but I get in trouble with Cuphead, so no Cuphead. <laughs> You know, I still need to think of a game I want to play on Monday, but I'm not exactly sure. Well, maybe I'll do Toontown. It's April Fool's Day and High Roller's back. So let's do High Roller. We could play High Roller. Which is silly, IMO. Eh, well, it's I, I checked out their rules. They say if you're playing Cuphead or doing anything Cuphead related, then it's OK. But if it's any music from the game uh, and you're not actually playing Cuphead, we're gonna we're gonna ding you for it. Funk music. I mean, if it's funk music from a video game, and I don't mean like Guitar Hero. Mac, huh? Hey, who took a look at the new trailer for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door? How about that fancy schmancy new intro, huh? That stuff's pretty good. It's all animated and whatnot. And it looks real nice. I mean, I can't wait to see more of that game in motion. I wonder if they're gonna have any quality of life changes or anything like that. Maybe they'll fix some bugs or something. What do you think could be improved? I don't know. Um, I guess there's the whole of creepy steeple. Like, what if there was an option for you to skip the entire thing where you have to look for the P and you could just answer because you know what his name is? But I guess you need to do that so you can get Vivian. Uh, oh, uh, Ms. Mouse. My answer would be a built-in randomized, but this is Nintendo. That's true. Ms. Mouse. They need to change Ms. Mouse. Make her numbers better or give her piercing or something. Because it's funny how Lady Bo... Um, Lady Bo... Uh, she does? Oh, never mind. She just... She's very useful. What? Everything I've seen puts Ms. Mouse as the worst partner in the entire game. Like the best partner in the game is Yoshi. Best part is Goombella because she can give Mario two turns. Hmm. Use Mouse second most because of the defense piercing. Honestly, I use Yoshi a ton because if you use Power Lift, Yoshi is killing tons of things and like you use Power Lift and you switch them out all the time to like buff them. 
and you use Goombella's multi bonk or, or Yoshi's like ground pound. There's tons of things that you can like just kill with a single attack. Heck, that's how I defeated Bone Tail. You can just use charge on anyone though. Yeah. But there are some that's it's better for than others. I find Flurry very useful in the fight against, um, I used Flurry in the fight against, um, uh, Grotus. She can get rid of the, the, the mini yuxes. I'm telling you, multi, multi, excuse me, multi bonk with power lift is goaded. Isn't Flurry immune to, is, is Flurry immune to earthquake attacks? You ever use danger Mario? Yes, actually. I use danger strats in, uh, in a few of the battles. You've never seen a single piece of media of the Thousand Year Door? Oh, well, you're in for a treat if you get around to playing it. It's one of the cleanest, most fun Mario games ever. Yeah, I did danger strats with Mario in the th in uh, trial in the pit of a hundred trials, but I think I I focused a lot more on doing Goombella strats instead of Mario strats. Okay, I found a write-up from somebody on GameFAQs about Ms. Mouse. The definition of a niche partner. What she can do, she does extremely well, but that's all she offers. Kiss Thief is what you're here for. It's a godsend for badge hunting. Farming badges opens up so many strategies and badge setups that would otherwise be impossible. That's really all she has going for her. Love Slap sounds great on paper, but four piercing damage to one enemy is not a lot by the time you get her. Sure, it doesn't cost FP, but Coops, Flurry, and Vivian all offer the same piercing effect with a lot more utility. And FP should not be that scarce by the time you get Ms. Mouse anyway in a normal playthrough. Tease is fine, but it's just a worse version of Infatuate, and Dizziness is nowhere near as useful as repel evasion lucky is you excuse me, lucky is you want the same effect and smooch is the biggest ripoff ever 10 fp for 10 hp is a terrible trade off especially since there's tons of options for healing in this game that are better and cheaper i've used smooch a grand total of one time in hundreds of hours of gameplay and even then it was on an offensive hammerman run through the pit ms mouse is great for badge hunting but whatever you want others can do better What? No, I'm reading a game facts forum. What? Ready? 
Uh, Koop's attack shell slam is 6 FP and hits all ground enemies with pierce damage. Kidding me, really? I have to win because it's starting to hurt now. I have to pee. Like, I'm... I have to win now. It's starting to hurt a little. But I'm not going to. They're going to force me to wait another half hour. Force. Yeah, I gave the terms. Can I stop having Spinning Kong clank? Alright, well, I gotta wait again. Please go to the bathroom. Nah, I lost, man. I said I'm get to go when I win. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, here's, okay, so Koops has Shell Shock, which pierces all defense and hits every enemy on the ground. Flurry has Lip Lock, which heals her and also, uh, which heals her and also penetrates defense. real I gotta have a real incentive to win otherwise I I because I, I I don't know man I, don't, I just I just don't want to win enough that's why I don't win I guess so I gotta try my hardest I need an incentive I mean there's only a half hour left before the stream's over so <laughs> I can hold it for another half hour yeah See, I thought you guys would be rooting for me to win. Blame yourself. Maybe I will. Entirely depends on what my opponents do.
Oof. Nice hit. Come on, Zalrog. Nice. <gasps> Here while playing games, hurling cannonballs and dropped a helicopter. Oh, the helipack, right. It's crazy, the helipack remains the only DKC3 reference in the entire Smash series. Can you believe that? Well, I guess the archive in DK in, in Brawl mentions DKC3. That Kitty Kong was a spirit. Oh, you're right. Kitty Kong is a spirit. He's uh he's the he's part of the upgraded Dixie spirit. Never mind. I guess there is more DKC3 references than I remembered, but it's not much. Like, there's no DKC3 songs at all, which is a shame. I think Nuts and Bolts would have been a good one. Heck, I... I think there should be a Flying Croc DKC2 stage. Like, the fact that all the DK stages are still just jungles after so long is sad. Even the one they got rid of was still just a jungle. Well, the ones they got rid of, rather, because Rumble Falls is also a jungle. want to see some of those locations from DKC 2 and 3 in higher quality.
I don't like levels that fly around, but Crocodile Isle would have been good for it. Yeah, it would have been great for it. I, I've, I've, I've had that idea for a long time of picking a few locations from Crocodile Isle that would have been gorgeous. Plus, it's a, it's a location that can't come back because they blew it up. <laughs> Crocodile Core will never return. No, that place was awesome, and it's only there for a single boss fight where you hit K. Rule one time, and then he, then then you, then they blow up the whole island. Oh gosh, the plot for Donkey Kong Land was: I bet you can't beat K. Rule in eight bit. Let me just call him up real quick. Yeah, I love that plot. That's hilarious. The plot for Donkey Kong Land Two though is literally that Crocodile Isle rose out of the ocean again, except now some of the except some of the levels are in a different order or something. He doesn't grab me. Oh, you're kidding. I'm shielding his attacks! Like, he can just do all this to me for free! What am I doing? He misses an attack and he gets to roll away and, and do something else! I miss an attack and I'm eating a combo that takes me all the way to 80%! This can't be fair, can it? He gets to miss all the moves in the world and still benefits from it, but I miss and I eat the combo. Like all those grabs I whiffed and he got to roll away from. <sighs> it's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs>
Yeah, the plot for Donkey Kong Land 2 was that the island just rose up out of the ocean again, so you just get to do it again. Except now, uh, World 2 is mixed of three, is world is a mixture of Crocodile uh, Cauldron and Creme Quay. And then uh, Donkey Kong Land 3's story is that everybody was getting ready to do this race thing that they apparently had. Um, but uh, uh, everybody split up into groups and DK went with Diddy, but DK and Diddy disappeared. So now uh, Kitty and Dixie have to go Kitty and Dixie have to go on their own adventure to try to beat this like time trial quest and reveal what happened to Kitty and Diddy excuse me DK and Diddy I mean I can at least appreciate that they're trying something different for what it's worth Donkey Kong Land 2 and 3 play a lot better than Donkey Kong Land 1 but they also lose something by not being original games with original locations like Donkey Kong Land 1 has um the jungle, sure, but it's also got the caves and the hill and the sky worlds, which are, I mean, caves were in the original game, but the sky levels were not. Uh, and then it's also got a new underwater level theme as well as Big Ape City, which is all unique. Sora beats dogs. Well, a wolf. Which, yeah, I could see him beating a wolf. Oh, Kazia. The Sora's art look like a face swap mouth. Oh, you mean like that that mouth from that one Fire Emblem artwork that they put on everything? Uh, what was that? That there's a Kazuya with such an unassuming name as Bob. Bob Mishima. Robert Mishima. Incredible. If they had another Tekken character, do you want Heihachi or Kuma?
There's one character named Bob and Tekken as well. Oh, is oh that's right. Is he the um, is he the guy who? Wait, is he the? No, I'm thinking of someone else. Send Paul. Send Yoshimitsu. Wait, what other game is Yoshimitsu a part of outside of Tekken? Is that like Terry? Soul Calibur. Oh, that's right. All right, we got 15 minutes to go. So about four matches, give or take. Honestly, at this point, even if I win the match, it's only five minutes to go. So it's basically like I never won at all. Bob. It's all palindromes. Oh, that's impressive. Let me look up the lyrics to that. Weird Al, Bob. I man am regal, a German am I. Never otter even if I had a hi-fi. Oh, I thought every word was gonna be a palindrome. I man am regal, a German am I. Never otter even if I had a hi-fi. Madam, I'm Adam, too hot to hoot. No lemons, no lemon, too bad I hit a boot. Lisa Bonnet ate no basil, Warsaw was raw. Was it a car or a cat that I saw? Rise to vote, sir. Do geese see God? Do nine men interpret? Nine men I nod. Rats live on no evil star. Won't lovers revolt now? Race fast, safe car, pause a sap. Maz is selfless as I am. Maya Moody, baby, do my yam. Ah, Satan sees Natasha. No devil lived on. Lonely Tylenol, not a banana baton. No X and Nixon, no st O Stone, be not so. O Geronimo, no minor ego. Naomi, I moan. So the bad connection is just these two on Northern Cave. Maybe Dark Mario actually lives in normal in Northern Cave. A Toyota's a Toyota, a dog a panic in a pagoda. Oh no, Don Ho. Nurse I spy oh can't say that. Sea line fe senile felines, now I see bees I won. UFO tofu, we panic in a pew. Uzi rat in a sanitary zoo. God a red nugget, a fat egg under a dog. Go hang a salami, I'm a lasagna hog. Wait, I saw that one before. The lasagna hog one. That's where it's from? <laughs> I had no idea! I think they all existed before the song. Oh, did they? Well, I guess that would make sense.
Smash don't like you fighting Kongas. No, maybe it's Northern Cave, though. You considered that? Don't remember who you fought last. Uh, me, right? You fought me. Well, regardless, we only got enough time for like three more. Gut check. Boing. <laughs> Gosh, I want that to make a timpani sound when he hits somebody with it. <gasps> they should do that in. There should be more cartoony sound effects in this game in general. The only can get pretty laggy overall, even with two wired connections, but it's quite worse when at least one person on a Wi-Fi connection. It probably doesn't help that one person is in South America and another person is in North America. If I remember correctly, uh, Dark Mario Bros. is from Brazil. Yeah, starting to make a lot of sense now. <laughs> every time he turns on his, every time he turns on his switch, he's like, Zay Karaoke and Pika de Pau, give me strength. <laughs> And then we just hope that the connection is good. <laughs> All right, definitely fought you before. Rob, I can't have anything today. Only the Congas game said, nah. -uh. Yeah. Uh oh.
I miss. Yes? Are you... Hello? Okay, bye. <laughs> right. We're good, we're good. Imagine waiting in line for that. Ugh. Don't I know it. gonna do that okay good of course I can't come back no the one thing that DK's recovery is good for is doing vertical recovery back Oh, of course his side special is faster than one of my normals. Oh, of course. No. Yeah, of course his side special is faster than a tilt. Oh, that just makes perfect sense. Oh, I still got to wait. I wish I could win. match why is everybody a genius for me
I hope I, I oh you think Zalrog can you think Zalrog's gonna take this one all the way or do you think Lucario's gonna make a surprising victory from behind Almost. He almost caught him on the way back down. gonna win oh never mind then <laughs> well uh, timed that pretty well <sighs> well some good matches today some bad I won twice near the beginning and then never again. So I didn't I didn't do too great today. <laughs> Tomorrow's the art stream. We're going to be finishing Lola Bunny, but then we're also going to be starting and trying to complete Raggedy Ann. Uh, after that, on Sunday, I'm taking the day off. It's Easter. We're going to have uh, some nice stuff for family then, right? Uh, and then on Monday, I'm going to be doing Toontown because it's April Fool's Day and High Roller is back. And then after that, uh, not sure. I have plans with Zelrog, but I'm not exactly sure what. So, in either case, I'll be seeing you guys later. Have yourselves a very good afternoon and a good night. I gotta use the bathroom, so that's all 